Night Market Gaming. Night Market Hotshot Gaming. Hmm. Hotshot is very, very enticing to look at. Okay. I've been dealing with too many Juliets and Ranked recently. And if I see a size trait, I'm also immediately thinking, I don't want to deal with that either. So that's my immediate ban idea here. I don't know who exactly I want to play though. Both Demo and Hotshot would be really good Rasmus angels potentially, but I'm just playing off of what my other forward is primarily for, you know, watching who I potentially want. Since it is a rune, I will stick to Rasmus for hard forcing potential here. Dentaro. Dentaro, I mean. I'm gonna stick Vicious because since I am doing demo, it is bigger size and I'd rather have a little bit more survivability uh, against a Zen, especially. Alright, alright, alright. So, Slick I me. Era Strike Shot Goalie with Hot Shot. Siphoning Zen. Copy that. Both of us going survival with Vicious on our side, Rune and I. So, okay, yep. Very much so. Just it's a win off of our win off of raw core control if we can here. Try looking for a sneaky pendulum swing from afar to get an idea spanning there. Instead, just try to pass down through and make sure that he gets that guaranteed pass down. Just trying to cover smart. Good win from me. Get it down to Rune if I potentially can. I know I speed boost is hurting us a little bit here. But I can just hurt Zen Bat just a little bit. Just keep wearing down his stature as slowly as possible. Because we are just going to outpace him. Just naturally through with our siphoning wand. <coughs> so that's really just what I want this play to come to. Tried looking for something sneaky right there, but just didn't get it. Burst forced out. That's really big for us. Nice corner angle for me. And simple enough. Good tempo banish. Good tempo banish, Rune. Good stuff. Good stuff. Just me, like, recognizing what? I don't have to play far back as I usually do, even though I love midfielding more. I am the team forward considering I have my hard force in Pendulum Swing. So I just need to win my wars off of that always. Surprised a burst wasn't committed to try to kill me there, quite frankly. Let's point towards the speed boost and the orb here. Playing... Ah, uh, well, there you go. He finally committed it after I got burst, which is a real uh, gut punch. But you really can't say too much more past that. I mean, it is the smartest play for him right there, especially once Dubu started spanning forwards. Good win by me. Amazing core control, though. You can kill me all you want, but I'm still winning, baby! Oh, the Rasmus is still alive! Masterclass right there! Won every single war that I needed to! Alright, I still got it. I, I've really just been picking Rasmus only for like my like for like Atlas' lab, or you know, of course Imi's app. That I sh like I should just be going back to respecting him, because anytime I see like size awakenings, I'm just not picking him as much. When I'm still very sick with it, and I should keep picking this boy. Alright. Try drifting for something right there instead, just eat these uh, eat these hits from uh, the firewall sentry if I can. Just alleviate as much pressure as I can. Speed on forwards. That shrink really hurt us right there, but it's alright. Look for an angle. Didn't get it. Instead, I was about to say look for a Zentaro. Didn't get it. And another Whiplash win. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. The airstrings are a little annoying, but the fact is I have just a lot more propensity to force. And Zen... Uh, Zen is a lot worse at committing bat from counterattacks from offense to defense. I honestly think I just take boat diff and just continue running away with size here, quite frankly. Because, like, it's just naturally, like, the striker's kid. Zen is a lot better at forcing forwards, but once his, uh, once core control is out of the way, it feels bad to, um, uh, to dash back with the secondary and try to, yeah, once again, force the issue backwards. So, we're really coming out pretty fine enough here, all things considered. Mr. Propulsion, maybe? Stagger Swagger. Actually, yeah, Dubu doesn't, is the only one without a survival trait. So, if the offense hits a little bit further, then he could use that. Plus, it's just extra speed, too. But yeah, I'm like, 
Yasmus can easily handle uh, can easily handle and help on counter attacks a lot easier than uh, Zen can, and I'm just going my way forwards. But like even when yeah, like any time that we just yeah have this advantage spurning, it's like all right, what are you going to do about it, Zen? We just win these straight up. Just patience with my whip, uh, my whiplash, my death touch right there. Watch the top, so it's a viable angle. You be winning, and I was I was ready to cover the top with pendulum swing, but Rune just got it right there. Let's go, dude! Nice stuff, nice stuff. Good, 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 good. Yeah, why am I not whipping out this Rizmus more? I need to ask that question myself. Because I clearly still do got it. Nice stun attempt right there. Alright, cover the top for when the core potentially comes to it. Great denial plays. Can't believe Zen actually dodged my hit right there with his uh, uh with his um extended dash. Can't believe I also didn't get the core right there. Alright. Zenchou potentially don't have the not bad force, they don't have Plum Wars. Just dragged it forwards. That got the speed boost out of me. I was looking to get the Oni Village speed boost, but because of what's his face. Oh, if I just hit it forwards, but because of Aimee, it just fell apart. It's alright though! I have enough size to just watch forwards and say, yeah, you can hold the core, what are you gonna do about it? If I just hit it forwards, I just would have won. And broke it on his mental, but it's okay. We're still winning it straight up. It's also really nice that uh, uh that every single first uh, like, uh first touch war is just being won by Rune. Not only because it's spawning down below, but also just you know it's Rune. He just wins these naturally. Don't be too greedy with burst. I was trying to say. Oh! Zentaro griefing to the mats! Alright, cupboards. 1 2, kills I mean for sure. And just patience. Good stuff, good stuff. Yep, keep running them over. Get me your recovery drone and let me be biggest Rasmus on the field. Let me be big Rasmus on deck. That is not big Rasmus on deck, but I will take specialized training. It lets me be way stupider. It's most of entrance actually could be the Zentaro denial pick, but I can point to my win condition considering how my hoods have already been pretty wicked. A little bit extra power, a little bit extra speed, and just being able to just straight up say somebody dies if they disrespect Core Strike Thief and Erasmus' treasure, I think is really what's gonna come to be. We come out with best in slots for a lot of us here. I mean, just a spark. I wasn't seeing if she was spark stacking. No, first spark. And it's really just its force of entrance that really comes out to be for Zentaro. So, this is working pretty set in stone enough. Bad one, too. Could have done that way sooner. Could have done that way sooner and had something there. Didn't actually get something, uh, anything off of that either, which sucks. Or C issue. Good pendulum swing stun. Dude was challenging for free. Keep it low. Which for it? Oh, I really thought I had something right there. Let Rune hold it. I have to just keep staying in the center here in case it comes to me. As, especially since I had no stagger. Oh, the bulletin beam is so annoying. One, two. Look for it. It's still pretty low, but just playing respectfully. Cuts. Free! Free, 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 free! I mean, not in position. You're not willing to use burst for it. It's just easy enough. It's really Vicious Vambrace that's helping me stay alive, because especially me not dying there, especially after Dubu's, uh, Dubu's own demise, is a huge, huge tempo. Uh, tempo advantage for us, because then we just get to keep forcing. That's great that a burst got out of era and she didn't even get anything off of it. Look for something, but just making sure that I don't get clipped. I was about to say, win a war, drag Ami out of position potentially. Great patience for me! Being respectful. Covers the top. 
and easy enough. Thank you, Night Market Speed Boost. Yep, just even with Monumentalist and Extra Special causing trouble, just, you know, making sure that we fall back a little bit more. So that way, I don't, we don't ever get clipped by any stray, uh, not any stray Magic Nostrums is really just the name of the game. That's great. Because fact is, like, they never, they're never getting a chance to be as offensive as they'd like to be. Because Zen's just not getting any onus in the play. That was also a really bad positioning for me, quite frankly, right there. I was not ready to receive anything and also a bad pass, but it's okay. Because I have just taken this game by storm. <laughs> was that like a shutout? Like a complete shutout? Or like what happened right there, dude? Holy crap! <laughs> Oh, Rasmus just kind of took everything away, dude. <laughs> yeah, that was a complete shutout. Holy crap, ladies and gentlemen. What a game. <laughs> Rasmus, maybe I'm still sick with him.